Welcome back guys. Today I have a Walmart grocery pickup for you. My total was $110.48. I should be getting $15.50 in bonuses from Ibotta and $23.81 in rebates from Ibotta, which brings my total out of pocket down to $71.17. If you've not tried Kroger grocery pickup, there's a link in the description box below for $10 off your first order and you should try it out. There were a couple substitutions, maybe only one, and a few things that were out of stock. First, we are going to talk about the items that did not have rebates, and then we will talk about the items that do have rebates. These are the items that I picked up from Walmart Grocery Pickup that did not have rebates. Uh, the main reason for my pickup was we needed more toddler formula. Does she need formula? No, not really, but it's a good way to get her to take her vitamins by giving her this every morning. I picked up one pineapple. I got two Alma tomatoes for tacos. I got a pint of the grape tomatoes. Those are already gone by the time you're seeing the video. They're a huge hit in my house. I got a little pecan pie. I ordered the big five pack of the Cadbury caramel eggs and they didn't have them so they substituted the mini Cadbury eggs. I got a two pound bag of deli style wedges, seasoned potatoes. I ordered two avocados for tacos, but I got three for the price of two. I got some Miracle Whip because we were out. I got a three pound bag of cuties. I got one thing of the peeps. One thing of the tricolor coleslaw six bananas because we were completely out of bananas. I got the kids these Great Value mini vanilla ice cream sandwiches and then I ordered the Great Value fudge bars that came with 12 little fudge bars but they didn't have them so they substituted these Blue Ribbon Classic fudge bars and this is the 20 pack of the bigger bars. That's everything that I got that did not have a rebate from Walmart grocery pickup this time. These are all the items that I picked up at the Walmart grocery pickup that had rebates on them. Don't mind the kids in the background, I'm sure you can hear them. We'll start over here. I got this Scooby-Doo snack and surprise toy. I guess it has a snack and a toy inside the box. It was $2.48 and it had a dollar I bought a rebate. So I paid $1.48 for this. I'll probably put it in my youngest daughter's Easter basket. I picked up a box of the Little Debbie Frosted Fudge Cakes. These were $2 and they had a 10 cent rebate on them, making them $1.90. I also picked up a box of the Great Value Iced Tea Bags. They were $2.88 and they had a 10 cent rebate on those as well, making them $2.78. I picked up this perfect bar. This says it's the original refrigerated protein bar. This is the dark chocolate chip peanut butter. It was $1.98 and it has a rebate for $1.99. So that was actually a one cent money maker. This was a substitution. I ordered the s'mores Chobani flips. This is the mint chocolate chip which is fine and you had to buy two of them in order to get the rebate. The rebate was $1.22 and they're $1.22 a piece so that made them buy one get one free so I got two mint chocolate chip Chobani flips. I picked up this Eco Lips Mango Kiss Lip Bop Gloss. It was $1.97 and there was a rebate for $1.47 making it 50 cents. I picked up a bag of Sargento Creamery three cheese Mexican cheese. This was $2.70 and it had a rebate for a dollar so I ended up paying $1.70 for this bag of shredded cheese. I got a laughing cow garlic and herb spreadable cheese wedges. This was $2.87 and it had a rebate of a dollar making it a dollar eighty-seven. I picked up two of these Nutella and Go um, Packs. These are hazelnut spread with breadsticks. They were $1.48 a piece with a 50 cent rebate, making them 98 cents each. And I'll put these in my oldest two daughters' Easter baskets. 
the Gerber Snacks had a dollar fifty rebate. I got two of these teether wheels and the banana cream. I ordered another flavor that they had and they were out of stock. So I didn't get those, but these were $1.96 a piece and they have a dollar fifty rebate, making them forty six cents each. And then I got one pack of the Gerber Teethers, rice rusks as we call them in my house. These were $2.98, and they also had a $1.50 rebate, making them $1.48, and I got the banana peach flavor. I got a thing of all laundry detergent. This is the Small and Mighty. This is 53 loads of the Free and Clear. It was $4.97 with a dollar rebate on Ibotta, making it $3.97. I picked up a container of the Kraft Shredded Parmesan Cheese. This is five ounces and it was $2.98 and it had a 75 cent rebate, making it $2.23. The Cool Whip was $1.84 and it had a 50 cent rebate, so that made it $1.34 for a container of Cool Whip. I picked up a gallon of whole milk. It was $1.59 and there was a 10 cent rebate when you bought any milk, so that made it $1.49. Back up here to the front. I picked up two of these Maxwell House International French Vanilla Cafe Sugar-Free Decaf Coffees. They were $2.74 a piece. And they each had a $1.25 rebate, making them $1.49 a piece. I picked up four boxes of the little drink sticks on the go packets. I got a Hawaiian Punch Juicy Fruit Fruit Juicy Red, a Crushed Strawberry, a Hawaiian Punch Lemon Berry Squeeze, and an A&W Root Beer. Those were all a dollar a piece and there was a dollar rebate when you bought four, so that made those 75 cents a piece. <laughs> I picked up the no yolk dumplings. I actually ordered two packs of the dumplings, but they didn't have to, so they substituted the extra broad noodles. That's fine. These were $1.78 a piece, and they had a 50 cent rebate on Ibotta, making them $1.28 each. We are completely out of dumplings. I picked up this Coca Cola with coffee. This is the dark blend. It was $1.88 and it had a $1.88 rebate, making it completely free. I picked up one box of mac and cheese just for the rebate. We don't really need any more mac and cheese right now, but it was $0.98 cents and it had a $0.10 cent rebate, making it $0.88 cents and that added to my rebate total to be able to get the bonuses. So this is something we will use, we just didn't really need it right now. I got one box of the Sunbelt Bakery Granola Bars. These are the fudge dipped chocolate chip. They were $2.38 and they had a 75 cent rebate making them $1.63. I picked up the Fun Fetty Chocolate Premium Cake Mix with Oreos. This was $1.82 and it had a 25 cent rebate making it $1.57. I also picked up the Fun Fetty Buttermilk Pancake and Waffle Mix with Oreo Cookie Pieces. This was $2.12 with a $0.25 cent rebate, making it $1.87. And last but not least, I picked up a pack of Love's Diapers. They were $4.97 and they had a dollar rebate, making them $3.97. And that's everything I picked up at the Walmart grocery pickup this time. If you've not tried it out, click the link below in the description box to get $10 off your first order. If you've not tried out, I bought it either. There's also a link in the description box below with a link for Ibotta, and I believe you get either a five or $10 bonus. I think it's $5 bonus when you submit your first receipt. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notification to get notifications when I post new videos. And until next time, we'll be seeing you. Bye, guys.